The battles of the Isenzo, known as the Isenzo Front by historians, Slovene, Soska Fronta, were a series of 12 battles between the Austro-Hungarian and Italian armies in World War I mostly on the territory of present-day Slovenia, and the remainder in Italy along the Isenzo River on the eastern sector of the Italian front between June 1915 and November 1917. Topic. Italian military plans In April 1915, in the secret Treaty of London, Italy was promised by the Allies some of the territories of Austro-Hungarian Empire which were mainly inhabited by ethnic Slovenes. Italian Field Marshal Luigi Cadorna, a staunch proponent of the frontal assault, initially planned breaking onto the Slovenian plateau, taking Ljubljana and threatening Vienna. The area between the northernmost part of the Adriatic Sea and the sources of the Isenzo River thus became the scene of twelve successive battles. As a result, the Austro Hungarians were forced to move some of their forces from the Eastern Front, and a war in the mountains around the Isenzo River began. Geography <laughs> 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 The 60-mile-long Soka River at the time ran entirely inside Austria-Hungary in parallel to the border with Italy, from the Vesic and Predal passes in the Julian Alps to the Adriatic Sea, widening dramatically a few kilometers north of Gorizia, thus opening a narrow corridor between northern Italy and central Europe, which goes through the Vipava Valley and the relatively low northeastern edge of the Karst Plateau to Inner Carniola and Ljubljana. The corridor is also known as the Ljubljana Gate. By the autumn of 1915, one mile had been won by Italian troops, and by October 1917, a few Austrian mountains and some square miles of land had changed hands several times. Italian troops did not reach the port of Trieste, the Italian general Luigi Cadorna's initial target, until after the armistice. Topic. Primary sector for Italian operations With the rest of the mountainous 400-mile length of the front being almost everywhere dominated by Austro-Hungarian forces, the Soka was the only practical area for Italian military operations during the war. The Austrians had fortified the mountains ahead of the Italians' entry into the war on 23 May 1915. Italian Chief of Staff Luigi Cadorna judged that Italian gains from Gorizia to Trieste were most feasible at the coastal plain east of the lower end of the Soca Isenzo. However he also believed that the Italian army could strike further north and bypass the mountains either side of the river so as to come at the Austro-Hungarian forces in the rear. Cadorna had not expected operations in the Isenzo sector to be easy. He was well aware that the river was prone to flooding, and indeed there were record rainfalls during 1914–18. Further, when attacking further north the Italian army was faced with something of a dilemma, in order to cross the Isenzo safely it needed to neutralize the Austro-Hungarian defenders on the mountains above, yet to neutralize these forces the Italian forces needed first to cross the river, an obstacle that the Italians never succeeded in overcoming. In the south along the coastal zone geographic peculiarities, including an array of ridges and valleys, also gave an advantage to the Austro-Hungarian defenders. Casualties <coughs> 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 Despite the huge effort and resources poured into the continuing Isenzo struggle the results were invariably disappointing and without real tactical merit, particularly given the geographical difficulties that were inherent in the campaign. Cumulative casualties of the numerous battles of the Isenzo were enormous. Half of the entire Italian war death total, some 300,000 of 600,000 were suffered along the Soccer Isenzo. 
Austro-Hungarian losses, while by no means as numerous were nevertheless high at around 200,000 of an overall total of around 1.2 million casualties, more than 30,000 casualties were ethnic Slovenes, majority of them being drafted in the Austro-Hungarian army, while Slovene civil inhabitants from the Gorizia and Gradiska region also suffered in many thousands because they were resettled in refugee camps where Slovene refugees were treated as state enemies by Italians and some thousands died of malnutrition in Italian refugee camps. <inaudible> <inaudible> Number of battles With almost continuous combat in the area, the precise number of battles forming the Isenzo campaign is debatable. Some historians have assigned distinct names to a couple of the Isenzo struggles, most notably at Kobarad in October 1917, which would otherwise form the Twelfth Battle of the Isenzo. The fact that the battles were always named after the Isenzo River, even in Italy, was considered by some a propaganda success for Austria-Hungary, it highlighted the repeated Italian failure to breach this landmark frontier of the Empire. The Isenzo campaign comprised the following battles. First Battle of the Isenzo the 23rd of June to the 7th of July 1915. Second Battle of the Isenzo the 18th of July to the 3rd of August 1915. Third Battle of the Isenzo the 18th of October to the 3rd of November 1915. Fourth Battle of the Isenzo the 10th of November to the 2nd of December 1915. Fifth Battle of the Isenzo 9 to 17 March 1916. Sixth Battle of the Isenzo 6 to 17 August 1916. Seventh Battle of the Isenzo 14 to 17 September 1916. Eighth Battle of the Isenzo 10 to 12 October 1916. Ninth Battle of the Isenzo 1 to 4 November 1916. 10th Battle of the Isenzo the 12th of May to the 8th of June 1917 11th Battle of the Isenzo the 19th of August to the 12th of September 1917 12th Battle of the Isenzo the 24th of October to the 7th of November 1917 also known as the Battle of Caporetto Topic in literature Ernest Hemingway's A Farewell to Arms is partly set in the events along this front. Italian poet Giuseppe Ungaretti's autobiographical poem, I Fumi, was written about the Isenzo whilst he was stationed on the front. Mark Helprin's A Soldier of the Great War refers to parts of the Isenzo campaign. The Twelfth Battle is the subject of the novel Caporetto by the Swedish author F.J. Nordsted, Stockholm 1972